There's clearly been some unrest with the UTEP men's basketball team lately, both on and off the floor. But remember this, winning solves everything in the minors. They desperately needed to get back in the win column tonight at the dawn against Southern Miss. Both Jordan Lathan and Rodney Terry back with the team. And in the early going, Sule Boom cannot say enough good things about Boom, who scored a game high 26 points, going 14 of 14 from the free throw line. Little and one action there. Southern Miss gave them a battle, though. Gabe Watson with two of his 20 points on the night. Play of the night, though, belonged to Dion Stroud. Get off the tracks when the train is coming through. So nice, we show you twice. Stroud with the three-point play. Miners led by two at the half. The Golden Eagles, they came out hot in the second half, and the Miners actually trailed in this game, but then Bryson Williams, he went to work. 20 points, nine rebounds for Williams, and then it's Mr. Reliable. Daryl Edwards, the big three down the stretch for UTEP. 76-64 the final. Miners back in the win column. Our very own Colin Deaver, he was there for this one. He's live at the Don with one. Hey there, Colin. Andy, you know, the way things have been going for UTEP basketball the last couple of, you know, 10, 15 days, it was kind of fitting that this second half, this really the first 32 minutes of this ball game with Southern Miss did not go the Miners' way with eight minutes remaining in this game. They were down by one point, 52 to 51, before finally figuring it out, putting it together, and finishing the game on a 25 to 12 run to end up winning by 12 points. And they did it defensively. We saw this team do this early in the season with their defense. Tonight, it was on full display yet again. And they held Southern Miss without a field goal for the final eight minutes until a concession basket with about 20 seconds left in the ball game. So this was a game that UTEP really prided itself on, at least in those final eight minutes, finally coming up with the big plays that they needed to get a very important victory to avoid dropping to 0-3 in Conference USA action. Well, that's big for us. I mean, if we do that over in, in Miami for a couple possessions, we're probably sitting at 3-0, and you know, and stuff. And those are winning plays. It's winning basketball. And, uh, you know, we're going to know we have to continue to do that as we move forward in the season. Good teams are going to go through adversity. It's the way you uh, be able to push through those and uh, be able to uh, come bounce back off the mat. And uh, we just did we did that tonight. You know, we defended hard, and uh, we actually came out with a dub. So it's really good for our team. Nine players got into the ball game for UTEP. Seven of them scored, so that offense that has been kind of been one-dimensional through Bryson Williams for much of the season, doing a lot better tonight as the Miners get that victory. Does not get any easier for the Miners. They will turn around and host Louisiana Tech on Saturday at 7 p.m. here at the Don Haskins Center. That's a big one. Uh, Louisiana Tech was uh, is 2-1 and one coming into this one on Saturday. They just lost to UTSA, so if UTEP can get that victory, they will move to 500 in conference. USA play so you know we got this gym all to ourselves as UTEP got that victory Andy we're gonna take full advantage of it live at the Don Haskins Center Colin Eber KTSM 9 Sports